and whipping winds overnight causing damage to several homes across the Worcester area, down trees and wires leaving some without power. Now residents are left to clean up the mess. Our Chandler Walsh joins us live now with the details. Chandler. Olivia, whipping winds for sure. You heard those mile per hour counts from meteorologist Tim Kelly and still some strong winds out here right now. And homeowners are some homeowners are assessing the damage that they had. A large tree lies across a car on Worcester's Hartshorn Street. Neighbors say it came crashing down from high winds Thursday morning. I heard howling winds. It almost sounded like an airplane. You can see here where part of the tree completely snapped off and is now left lying across this homeowner's front lawn. It was, it was very loud um, and I can't imagine actually being in that house. The tree also damaged the roof and porch of the house. Neighbor Elizabeth Cousins says the homeowners have called the city in the past hoping to have it removed. Because it sometimes doesn't like flower or have leaves on it, um, but the city has said that it's perfectly fine. High winds also causing damage on Coolidge Street in Auburn, where Stephanie Lavalley woke up to a messy scene of a damaged roof, damaged cars, and live wires. We are shocked that we didn't hear it because our neighbor heard it from across the street. Lavalley says she isn't surprised the tree came down. She says some branches already fell because of the snow, causing her family to question its sturdiness. So me and my stepdad were looking like, well, we should really consider taking that tree down and couple days later, it's gone now. Back in Worcester, neighbors worry about the fate of their old trees. Lawrence Riley says the neighborhood has many others like this one and says there have been issues every year. A year before last, the trees up there totaled the ladies' car, fell right through the ladies' car. It's always something in this neighborhood. And the owners of the home in Worcester didn't want to go on camera, but they say you can't control Mother Nature and it could have been a lot worse. 